Recently, the Beaver Watershed Alliance hired Kraft & Tolan Associates, an engineering firm headquartered in Rogers, Arkansas, to design several low-impact development parking lots in the Beaver Lake watershed. One of these parking lots is located near the boat launch at the Hickory Creek Marina on Beaver Lake. The design for this project included a rain garden and bioswale that will receive the stormwater runoff from the parking lot, helping to slow down and store the runoff before it enters Beaver Lake. Rain gardens, which are vegetated depressions designed to capture and slow down stormwater, help to reduce soil erosion and allow more time for the stormwater to be absorbed by the soil. During heavy storm events, any excess stormwater unable to be contained by the rain garden will be released into a vegetated bioswale, which will also help slow down the runoff and allow more time for it to be absorbed by the soil before entering the lake. When designing the rain garden and bioswale, Kraft & Tull selected species that will help facilitate the breakdown and removal of contaminants such as petroleum, pesticides, and excess nutrients which may be contained in the runoff. The more time the stormwater is able to spend in the rain garden and bioswale, the more time the plants and soil microorganisms will have to break down any contaminants contained in that runoff before they reach the lake. This method of removing contaminants from stormwater runoff is called phytoremediation, which is a cost-effective approach that uses plants to detoxify contaminants found in the environment. So let's talk about the species that were selected and how they improve the quality of stormwater and help protect the drinking water supply of Northwest Arkansas. Little Blue Stem is a warm season grass that was included in the design since it's excellent at facilitating the breakdown of low to moderate levels of petroleum products contained in stormwater runoff. Little Blue Stem also leaves behind light brown persistent vegetation during the winter months, which will continue to help slow down runoff outside of the growing season while also providing wintertime aesthetics. Another warm season grass species that was included is Side Oats Grandma. Like Little Blue Stem, Side Oats Grandma is also great at facilitating the breakdown of petroleum products contained in stormwater runoff. Switchgrass, which is able to facilitate the breakdown of both petroleum products and certain pesticides, is another warm season grass that has been included in the design. In addition to its ability to help, to help break down certain organic contaminants, the high biomass produced by this species also makes it ideal for capturing sediment as well as absorbing excess nutrients from such sources as fertilizers that are often contained in stormwater runoff. Soft rush is a native rush species that has also been included because of its ability to stimulate soil microbial activity that will help facilitate the breakdown of petroleum products in the runoff, as well as certain types of pesticides. Brush grass, another native grass species that was included in the design, is also excellent at breaking down petroleum products contained in runoff. And as a cool season grass, this species will continue to provide phytoremediation of contaminants during the cooler months when most of the other species are dormant. Wood oats is another species that will provide winter aesthetics and will help to slow down stormwater runoff during the winter months. Another name for this species is fish on a line due to the fact that the seed heads that dangle on the grass stems resemble fish hanging from a fishing pole. A perfect choice considering that the rain garden and bioswale will be seen by people visiting the lake for recreational activities such as fishing. Aside from the benefits gained from phytoremediation, additional native plant species were selected to provide ecological benefits to the watershed and to enhance the attractiveness of both the rain garden and bioswale. As the ecological basis upon which life in the Ozarks depends, native plants are an integral part of the food web that ultimately supports aquatic ecosystems such as that which is found in Beaver Lake. Using native plants to help attract a species such as birds, butterflies, moths, and other beneficial insects helps to maintain the web of life that will ultimately provide the food source for many of the fish species living in the lake. So let's learn a little bit about the species that were selected to provide these ecological services for the Beaver Lake watershed. Northern Spicebush is a shrub that offers many ecological benefits and is visited by a multitude of pollinators. It is also the host plant for Spicebush swallowtail butterflies, which are a common butterfly species here in the Ozarks that depend on Spicebush in order to complete its life cycle. 
Cardinal flower is another native flowering species that is a favorite of our local pollinators. The red tubular flowers are perfectly adapted to the beaks of hummingbirds, which are often seen visiting the flowers in the summertime. Another favorite of local Ozark pollinators is purple cone flower, which will attract a wide variety of species such as native bees, butterflies, and skippers, while also adding some color to the rain garden and bioswell during the summer months with their attractive blooms. Likewise, wild bergamot is another favorite of pollinators such as native bees, butterflies, skippers, and moths. This perennial species also forms colonies connected by underground rhizomes. These root systems will also help hold the soil in place and provide additional protection from soil erosion. Cut plant is a tall growing native plant species that will provide nectar for many species of native bees, butterflies, and skippers and will produce beautiful yellow blooms in the summertime. Black-eyed Susans are considered short-lived perennials and often flower during their first year. This species will help provide some protection to the longer-lived perennials until they're able to become established. Not only that, but black-eyed Susans provide food for many of the different species of native bees, butterflies, and beetles here in the Ozarks. Partridge pea is an annual species that will grow, flower, and complete its life cycle in just one year and reseed itself the following year. Like the black-eyed Susans, this species will serve as a native nursery crop that will help protect the longer-lived perennial species until they're able to become established. Partridge pea is also a native legume, and this will help improve the fertility of the soil by fixing nitrogen. Great for erosion control and bank stabilization, partridge pea also provides nectar for native bees and other beneficial insects. Finally, Plains Coreopsis is another annual species that will flower during its first year and will help protect the perennial species until they become fully established. This species will also provide food to a wide variety of insects, including native bees, butterflies, skippers, and beetles. Rain gardens and phytoremediation using native plant species are effective methods of improving the water quality of our local rivers and water bodies. Crafton Toll and Associates is proud to assist the Beaver Watershed Alliance in their mission to maintain high quality drinking water for the residents of Northwest Arkansas by offering our services and expertise for the low impact development parking lot projects like the one at Hickory Creek Boat Launch on Beaver Lake. If more projects like these continue to be implemented within the Beaver Lake watershed, we'll be able to protect this precious resource for generations to come.